Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, shark tournament season kicked off this past weekend on Long Island with the Star Island Shark Tournament. And this was a big topic of discussion when I made my offshore fishing report calls over the weekend. Now the top spot in that tournament was secured by a huge 730 pound Mako shark landed by the crew of the Thor 3. Congrats on that awesome catch guys. I also had a 398 pound Thresher which took second place and a real nice 378 Mako which claimed third. From what I've been hearing there are some good numbers of blue sharks here in New England off of uh, Block Island right now in the vicinity generally of the, the Suffolk wreck but reports of an influx of bluefish was noted by several boats and several of the contacts I spoke to this weekend so the hopes are really high that uh, we're going to start to see an influx of um, mako sharks begin moving into that area really soon. There were a few other shark tournaments off Long Island this past weekend too that produced some good threshers in the 300 pound class and a boat fishing three miles off Asbury Park, New Jersey landed and released what appears to be a juvenile great white sharks while targeting threshers. That photo was shared with us on our Fisherman Magazine Facebook page so check it out and join in on the discussion. And as I noted, I am covering the offshore fishing reports this year, so if you, uh, if you get offshore at all, heading for shark, tuna, whatever the case may be, feel free to send your reports on over to me at tlipinski at thefisherman.com, and as long as I receive them by about 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, I'll be sure to include you in that week's magazine. All right, moving on uh, into the reports, we're going to start off in Connecticut as always. Where sea bass fishing off the Connecticut coast remains fantastic. And Wayne Wright, one of the mates aboard Rock and Roll Charters sailing out of Clinton, sent me a picture of a beautiful 22 inch humpy that they landed this weekend. Now I will remind you, keep, uh, keep note of where you are because New York waters remain closed for sea bass until uh, July 15th and Rhode Island does not open until this Friday. So be sure not to drift in the surrounding state waters if you have sea bass on your boat. Fluke fishing has always been also been pretty good throughout much of the sound, and Rivers End weighed an impressive 12 and a half pound fluke this week. I'm sure I'm not sure exactly where this doormat was caught, but I've heard of some fish being landed in the Lower Connecticut River, off the Old Lime shoreline, and on over to Two Tree Channel for some spots in the general vicinity of the shop. All right, moving on into Rhode Island, some larger striped bass are starting to move through Rhodey waters the last few days, with bass to 30 plus pounds being reported by Mike Wade at Watch Hill Outfitters. I expect the first 50 landed any day now, as fish of that size have been confirmed from Montauk to Boston this week. As I noted earlier, black sea bass finally opens in Rhode Island waters this Friday, and reports from the fluke boats have been of loads of sea bass mixed in with good catches of fluke from Watch Hill to Newport. Add in some much improved catches of scup, both from shore as well as from boat along South County, and you've got a plethora of options in the ocean state right now. And lastly, moving on up into Massachusetts, sea bass fishing continues to go strong in mass waters. And Annalise Douglas was fishing in Buzzards Bay this week and topped off a catch of stripers and fluke with a limit of sea bass to over four pounds. She was working the waters off of Gooseberry, but I've heard of solid catches pretty much being caught throughout Buzzards Bay lately. And a body, a body of large striped bass seemed to have made its way up past the canal already with a pair of 50 plus pound striped bass weighed in at Fishing Fanatics this week and bass to 40 plus inches landed all around the Cape. Captain Dave Waldrop of Relentless Charters said that he's been heading on over to uh, P-Town and getting into a really, really good bite of bass in that range with steady action being found right off of Race Point. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.